So I had our first game of Blood and Plunder on Saturday at the local game store. Kevin and I ran through a 100-point battle. I was running the British Royal Navy with Maynard in command. I had three units of Sea Dogs and three pairs of light cannons on a sloop. That put me at 98 points. Uh, Kevin ran the Dutch with a mix of units. Uh, we did a very simple ship game, no terrain. We didn't even have an ocean mat. Uh, it didn't really matter. The game was fun. I really felt like I was on the high seas. We did have a boarding action later in the game. In the photo, when he boards, my last unit of Sea Dogs were actually inside the sloop, men in the cannon below deck. They had to charge out. Um, the unit was eventually wiped out. Um, even so, um, I will recommend this game. I definitely will recommend this. Even with just a simple 100-point game, there is plenty to dig into. This is a heavy... Just beware, though. This is a heavy historical rules set. And B was my first game ever. Um, the rules did seem overwhelming at times, but that's just par for the course. Um, you just got to play more of it to kind of internalize that and kind of get the hang of it. Um, so a lot to dig into here. Uh, we are going to do another game next Saturday. Um, he wants to go 150, 150 points. Uh, and the starter box with that Maynard versus Blackbeard starter set looks like it gets you to 150 points. So I should be okay there. Um, but like I said, the game was still fun and tactical. And I can definitely, and it does something that I, very few miniature games, it, it really satisfies that niche of getting ships on the high seas and, and going through all those, those decisions. So um, yeah, definitely recommend. Had a good time. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.